So all the pau actually represent different uh, kaitiaki uh, watching over um, the whole area and also watching over all those that come and go. Um, and so uh, there's a saying with, uh, with the Waikato River that, you know, there's each bend, there's a chief, um, over a hundred chiefs. And so rather than name the Po after chiefs, we've just named them uh, Kaitiaki as guardians over the, over the complex. Kaitiaki are there to support them, uh, those that are using the waterway. Uh, so we put the, when when we get it ready up and do the blessing for them, uh, Kaitiaki will start their role in supporting the the safety of the waterway. I was actually given a brief by the Vodafone Event Centre um, about the widow, the challenge, and so and to um, to tie in with Tainui because they're the local um, iwi for for the area, and so uh, and with uh, linking in with the Awa with the Waikato River, um, the designs I've got on the po, they are um, I've, I've taken them influences from Tainui. Um, and then also influences from around the area. I've also looked at um, and paying homage to Digga uh, Tikanama and Bangi Maria Hitit. Um, they're, they're actually uh, well renowned uh, weavers, uh, Tainui weavers, master weavers. And uh, I've looked at some of their designs on their korowai, the cloaks, because the korowai is some real special. And uh, so I've taken influence from that and added those designs onto the po. Yeah, when I work, um, a lot of carving I do is uh, I usually isolate myself. That's being being in that zone sort of puts me in 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 a mind with with uh, our rako with our timber, and uh, that's the way I've been taught. And you know, I'll try and carry on doing it that way. That's our traditional way. You know, like mathematically, you got to sort of make sure I don't go over my bounds of going in too deep. Because if I weaken the log and it can't be used for what it's supposed to be, that sort of cut my boundary a little bit. But my upbringing uh, to do with Whakairo and Mahi Whakairo, you've got a little bit of, uh, or quite a bit actually, uh, motion from my past to put into the log how the finish is, whether I sand the finish or you have a chisel mark, you know, the tuki, the tuki, how the tuki makes its mark in the wood, uh, that, that type of thing is, uh, is quite emotional. Yeah, yeah. The influence of the red poles, it's to complement the building and the structure because the poles on the, on the roof are all red, the same, exact same colour. And so it'll just complement each other. The, the, the poles is kaitiaki, linking to the building. Um, and they also, in the Māori meeting house, they symbolise uh, the heke, uh, which is in the, on the, in the ceiling. And it's, it's like the bloodline, the veins of the, of the ancestor. And so we've got all those placed around the whole place, which, which has also been influenced from that also. Uh, because it's uh, to do with the waka and the kayaking, um, the whole Vodafone event centre is actually the waka and it's about the journey and the arrival. From all our ancestors down through to the kaitiaki down to the water, mm -hmm. to all of the people that come to use it, uh, they, will, they will sort of go racing down the water fast, but they know that the support of our tupuna Kaitiaki will be there helping them along the way. Yeah, I can't wait to see it up. And every day I drive to work, I drive past the Vodafone Event Centre and I see them working on the construction and I'm trying to visualise, you know, how would my, the poles look around the place and can't wait to see them up.